Hello friends. In this video, we will study about the dynamic characteristics of measuring instruments. So let us start with our topic. Whenever we are doing any type of measurement, we use some tool or device or an instrument for measuring the unknown quantity. So the instrument or device which is used for measuring that unknown quantity is called the measuring instrument. For example, if we are measuring the length, then we use ruler. If we want to measure the temperature, then we use the thermometer. If we want to measure the weight, then we use weighing machine. If we want to measure the time, then we use the stopwatches or the simple watches. So all these ruler, thermometer, weighing machine and the stopwatches they are all the measuring instruments because we are measuring an unknown quantity with the help of these instruments so measuring instrument it is defined as the instrument used for measuring the unknown quantity or we can say the measured or measured quantity This unknown quantity is also called the measured or the measured quantity. Now, it is very important to know about the characteristics of the measuring instrument because these characteristics, they reflect the performance of the instrument. If the characteristics of the instrument are very good, then we can say that the performance or the overall performance of the instrument is very good. It will correctly or accurately it is going to measure the unknown quantity. Okay, so it is very important to know about the characteristics of the instrument to get the information about its performance now these characteristics of the measuring instruments they are of two types static characteristics and dynamic characteristics static characteristics as the word static means constant so static characteristics they are those characteristics which do not vary with time means the those characteristics of the measuring instruments which are not changing with time they are constantly constant means consistently they are constant then those characteristics are called static characteristics now dynamic characteristics dynamic word means changing so dynamic characteristics are those characteristics with changes with time so in this video we are going to study about the dynamic characteristics of the measuring instrument. So if we define the dynamic characteristics of the instruments they are those characteristics which vary with the time. So dynamic characteristics are defined as the set of criteria which are defined for the instruments which are changing with the time. Okay. Now in the dynamic characteristics there are various dynamic characteristics of the instruments like first is speed of response. Second is fidelity third is measuring lag and fourth is dynamic error So these are the four dynamic characteristics of the time which are changing very rapidly with the time. So first we will start with the speed of response. Speed of 
response it deals with like uh, when we are applying the input to the instrument how fast the input is responding towards it okay so as soon as we are applying the input we are getting the output from the instrument then we can say that the speed of response of the instrument is very fast so what this speed of response tells about it tells us that how active or how fast the instrument is as soon as we are applying the input at the same time we are getting the output from the instrument. So when we define speed of response, it is called the rapidity with which a measurement system responds to changes in the measured quantity. When we are measuring any quantity, any unknown quantity from the measuring instrument, if any change is made in the measured uh, in the measured quantity, then the speed with which the instrument is also responding towards it that is called the speed of response of that instrument if the instrument is very fast in its response then we can say that its speed of response is very fast if it is responding very slowly towards it then we can say that the response of the instrument is very sluggish type okay so this is speed of response it shows that how active or how fast the instrument is like in the case of uh, control systems we say that the system is like uh, over dam critically dam under dam and undamped so all these systems in the control systems they are defined on the basis of their speed of response if it is responding very fast if uh, towards the changes in the input then we can say that it is very critically damped okay so if it's uh, like this is the input and this is the output so as soon the input is changing output response we are getting from the uh, system okay and if the response is very slow like this way then we can say that its speed of response is very slow this system is fast and this system is very slow okay so this is the first dynamic characteristics of the measuring instruments second characteristic is fidelity So fidelity is defined as the degree of closeness with which the system indicates or records the signal which is impressed upon it. Suppose we are applying the input to the instrument and then we are getting the output. So how close the output of the instrument is to the input. Like uh, if you want to measure an unknown quantity from the measuring instrument and for that unknown quantity we define two values. One is the measured value and second is the true value. So true value is the exact value of that unknown quantity and measured value is the value which the observer is measuring. Okay. So how close the measured value is to the true value that is called the fidelity means how closely the instrument it can reproduce the output in the same form as that of the input. 
okay so suppose if we are applying an input to the uh, instrument and we are getting the output so how close the output is to the input that is called the fidelity So we can say that fidelity, it is the degree to which the measurement system measures changes in the measured quantity. When we are making any changes in the unknown quantity, then how closely the instrument can observe those changes and how it, can, it is changing its output. Suppose that we are changing the input when we are measuring an unknown quantity and that unknown quantity is having the value of suppose uh, length we are measuring so length is like 12 centimeter so output we are getting like a output we will also get as 12 centimeter now when we are changing the input from 12 centimeter to 13 centimeter so output is also going to change it will also become 13 centimeter so how closely the instrument is measuring the changes in the input and how closely it is reproducing those changes in the output also that is called the fidelity because we are making the changes in input with the time so output is also changing with respect to time so this is a type of dynamic characteristics okay next type of characteristic is the measuring lag Measuring lag is defined as the time delay which is caused by the instrument when it is measuring an unknown quantity. Suppose that uh, when we are applied the input to the instrument means when we are using the instrument to measure the unknown quantity. But the instrument it is not giving us some response it is taking some time to give us the output. So that time delay which is caused due to the instrument that time delay is called the measuring lag. So measuring lag, it is defined as the retardation or the delay in the response of a measurement system to changes in the measured quantity. If we draw a graph for it to define the measuring lag, then suppose this is the actual output which we should get. Okay. And uh, here is the output and this is time. So this is the actual output which we should get from the measurement instrument but the output which we are getting is like this. Now this output it is taking some time means uh, the time is increasing but we are not getting any output from the system okay. So this time delay is called the measuring lag. Okay, now this measuring lag, it is of two types. One is the retardation type and second is the time delay type. Now in the retardation type, in this case, the response of the measurement system, it starts uh, suddenly means it begins immediately after the application of the measured quantity means as soon as we are changing the measured quantity at that time, we are uh, seeing changes in the output of the measurement system.
and if the response of the measurement system it is uh, starting or it is beginning after some delay time then it is called the time delay type of measuring lag. Okay, so these are the two types of measuring lag. Next type of dynamic characteristic is the dynamic error. Dynamic error is defined as the difference between the true value and the measured value of the quantity with respect to time. So as the time is changing, what is the difference between the reading which we are getting from the instrument and the actual value or the true value of the quantity. So that difference which is changing with the time that is called the dynamic error. So dynamic error is the difference between the true value and the measured value. Now static error is also the same thing but dynamic error in the case of dynamic error here the true value of the quantity it is changing with the time okay it is not constant. In the case of static error the true value is constant and we are measuring the difference between the measured value and the true value but here the value of the quantity it is changing with time. So if we draw the graph for it then it will be like this is the quantity which we want to measure that is the true value of the quantity. And this true value it is changing with the time. So this is the quantity which we want to measure. Now when we are measuring it with the instrument the graph which we are getting is like this. So this is what it is the instrument reading which we are getting. Okay so the difference between the true value and the instrument reading. that is called the dynamic error. So this is the input and output. Input is what the quantity which we want to measure and output is what the instrument reading and all these are changing with the time. Okay so this difference is called the dynamic error. Okay. And this dynamic error it is also called the measurement error because when we are doing the measurement at that time the error or the difference between the two values so that is called the error so that is why it is called the dynamic error which is changing with the time. So in this video we studied about the dynamic characteristics of the measuring instruments. The four dynamic characteristics we studied are the speed of response, fidelity, measuring lag, and the dynamic error. So I hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.